So on the private sector role, would it be fair to assume that uh, given the fact that the private sector overall, the animal spirits so to say in the economy uh, are visible but sector specific, perhaps an opportunity for private capital to come into the infrastructure space for example in the uh, roads and highways program could be through the monetization program that the government may choose to focus on uh, for many of the assets that have already been built. You know, for the nation, we require private capital to come into greenfield projects. It is greenfield projects that create jobs and create the demand for a whole lot of secondary and tertiary products and services like steel, cement, etc. So while coming in to acquire brownfield uh, operating assets uh, releases capital for some of the people who have invested, it does not lead to the net addition of infrastructure assets. And it is very clear that private sector today has neither the inclination nor the appetite for, for putting large amounts of balance sheet money in greenfield projects other than sectors like renewable uh, 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 trans, tr you know, uh, transmission lines and a few, very few uh, BOT road projects, very few. So, Vinayak, is that, is that on account of the fact that uh, there is uh, risk associated with uh, this kind yes. of uh, work and that has not gone down? Yes, the meltdown of PPP investments that started in 2012 and carried on to 2014-15 leading to 20 lakh crores of NPAs for which in the last years of the UPA government a very special committee was set up under Anil Swaru uh, has that cloud, that dark cloud has still not moved away from corporate boardrooms. Today corporate boardrooms are very very wary of putting fresh capital into uh, greenfield PPP projects because they still believe that the playing field is uh, not appropriate. It is it is far in favor of the government, who is the concessionaire, uh, concession giving authority. Until that is rectified, uh, I am afraid that the confidence in the private sector, domestic and foreign, for greenfield things will not come back. And the last point here is that the government was aware of this. And in 2015, the government appointed this government, the NDA government, appointed Mr. Kelkar to chair the famous Kelkar committee to revive PPP and that report was submitted in November 2015. It has a complete laundry list of the major resets and restructuring required in PPP formats and PPP institutions to get private sector confidence back. Uh, unfortunately, that report has neither been formally accepted nor implemented in spirit. So there is a very strong need to get private capital back for various reasons, which we can discuss later. But this is the truth of the private capital as it stands now. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.